Okay, so I'm to a point in the build that I'm really excited about. I, uh, tonight I got to do the first test of the motors and LEDs. Um, I've also done a sound test, um, which sounds really good. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to do a video of that necessarily. I'd rather do a full uh, demo of the entire prop working, but I will do, I know a lot of people have been asking about, um, uh, when it's going to spin up, how the LEDs are going to work, how well it's going to work. And, uh, I have to say that the twin motor rig that I came up with, um, I think was just enough motor, um, to reliably push the barrel, uh, wind up, wind down, um, very low amp load. I think it runs like half an amp, um, with the LEDs and the lights going. Um, so battery power shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but anyway, here's, uh, here's what she looks like kind of all finished. There's the LED pods on the inside and the barrel. Actually, I shouldn't say all finished to say the, the functional parts put together. Um, let's see if we can get her all in frame. Sasha's looking good. Um, anyway, um, you can freewheel a little bit. Um, she looks really, really nice. I've still got uh, some stuff to build. Um, this piece here is just a placeholder. Um, it will be the final piece, but it's... I can remove it to build the rest of the frame. Once I build the rest of the frame and get it all wired up with the controls in it, um, I will uh, uh, take it all off and then I'm going to use uh, Plasti Dip uh, to cover the entire uh, rear handle assembly. Um, so, anyway, um, this is how she's looking with the nice, clean, masked rivets, um, the ring and nipple toward the front with the speaker. Um, uh, inside, inside here behind this perforated metal. Sounds really good. Um, anyway, I don't even know what else there is. Um, looking really good. I've still got to put on the, uh, oh yeah, here I'll show you this. Here's, here's my, my, uh, the bandolier that I had built. Um, it's all done. There were some photos of that. Um, wears really nice. And then, uh, here I'll show you this too. Here's the, the, uh, control box that's all done. Um, it'll need to be wired up and everything, but this is the way this works is it's a uh, spin up, spin down, and then this selects between if you're firing regular or if you're firing crits, you can turn the sound, which firing sound you want. This is to fire and then just spin, fire, spin. And then these four are just for extra sounds. Um, there's a little cover that goes on her right here fits on the on the box that way and it's a register fit this will be an integral part of the handle assembly in my right hand um, the register fits into there and I'll be able to hold it and uh, manipulate all the, the switches and everything with my thumb and and whatnot so anyway that's the solution I came up with that and uh, without further ado let's let's spin this thing up and see how Sasha performs I've got um, this is just to see if I can get down here it's just a regular 12 volt power supply um, and it only runs um, about half an amp uh, when she's running so let's let's spin it up and we'll get the spin up speed and the lights we'll get here we go get the camera where she goes I think we have a good amount of speed um, in the barrel I'm not getting as much strobing as I would like but that's okay it's still really nice and intense you can't really tell um, in here, but, uh, anyway, um, looking really nice, and then as I said, the, the amp load is there, so anyway, and then I'll, the spin down speed, when you shut it off, it cruises about the right amount, so, um, anyway, uh, that's all the news that's fit to print for now, thanks.